Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's continue our battery report. Let's see where we are now. I had some moves. I'm going to backtrack. I have a short video showing how we reached this position. But let's see what's happening. So um, I made a small mistake uh, with the mounted knights. Uh, the mounted knights have a defense value of three and being with parted horses uh, before they get a minus one. So they have a defense value of two um, in um, uh, when, I, when I shot at. Now, um, this for me is a bit low um, and of course my friends in sword point will forgive me. But at the same time I understand the concept, their strength, but the base strength is only two. So just with two hits you can remove a base. So it depends your philosophy, but what I will do is I will keep the three um, the, the four as uh, they have partial plate armor um, and a shield and with the bodied horses I go to three um, I'm not gonna go to two, but this is my own. Um, I'll see how it works. I don't know if it works or not anyway um, uh, So they were destroyed. So what I did so I can I can I can make up for it. Uh, I bring a brought another uh, unit uh, of, uh, of mounted knights coming uh, directly coming directly from the castle of Carcassonne, you see them there, uh, so we can make up for the mistake. So let's see what happens, what happened actually up to now. So the French are moving uh, slowly but steadily in this uh, cultivated ground and the vanguard of the French is in column and trying to cross the, uh, current crossing the bridge. Now the English managed to get this critical hill so they can, and with the longbowman, so they can shoot back at the crossbowman and also create a line of battle and protect uh, their flanks. Also the English are now creating a line of battle here. Now the question is that I got quite a lot of responses. What the English should do? Should the English attack now that are, the French are in column? In column, what it means? It means that unformed because the width, the width is lower than, is less than the typical width, it's three. It doesn't matter, they're not destroyed. This current formation means unformed and they get many negative modifiers in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But the problem is that this here, let's see if you can see it better, let's go closer. So, so let's see the situation here. Now the English longbowman will shoot here, but the men at arms that can charge and give a lot of, actually to probably destroy the French crossing the bridge, have to pass from this difficult area and difficult area means two inches so that means they will go quite slow two inches will be one two they need three moves until they cross what will happen if these guys cross earlier they need two two moves three moves four moves they will cross uncontested so the english will be fighting here and maybe these guys will cross uncontested i know it's it's a difficult to decide what you're going to do. Um, maybe I can bring support from the baggage command. Let's see the baggage, the baggage guards. So we have the baggage guards here. Maybe I should bring them here to support um, and then the English can attack. That's something I'm thinking of doing. Uh, at the same time, um, the French are... Um, that's not a bad idea. At the same time, the French are crossing a bit of broken, um, the, 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 the line of battle is broken due to the different cultivated areas in different positions, so some move faster, some move slower, uh, but they will cross the river and then they will have, um, actually will have hand hand combat, but they will be in difficult ground, so they will be uh, probably uh, fighting with the negative modifiers. We'll see what we're going to do. We're going to have now shooting and I'm going to shoot at um, this unit of uh, unformed vanguard French and then we're going to have the movement and see what we're going to do. Um, I'm not going to show all dice, I'm going to show you the critical dice and explain you what's happening, but I'm going to fast forward what I'm doing here now. So, um, let's do some shooting. So the English are superior shooters, so they get a plus one. Let's do it again. So the English, so the English will hit, will attack this, uh, the vanguard, cross, the crossing vanguard. So they will hit with eight dice, and they will hit with a 4, 5 and a 6, but because they're superior, they need 3, 4, 5 and a 6, so quite devastating. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, quite a few hits. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hits. The French now defend with a 4, 5 and a 6, having heavy armor, partial plate armor, and a shield. But because they're unformed, 
Let us see what unformed troops get negative. Uh, only in shooting. Okay, there's not a big difference. There's not a big difference in shooting. Um, but they have to take the cohesion as one charge. So let's see what's going to happen here. The defense of the 4, 5, and 6. But the English, because they're a close range, they give a plus one to the defense value of the opponent. So they need a 5 and a 6. They defend 3. So there are 4 hits. 4 hits means the base is removed. And one base is removed. One base is removed for the French. So let's go shooting here. We have the crossbows and the, mount and the longbows. So this will be a face-off. So the crossbows, it doesn't matter who you study simultaneous, but these are militia crossbows, they're not very good. So they have one, two, three, four, only their first rank of crossbow shoots. So they hit with a four, five, and a six, but because they are a light crossbow, it has a short of nine. And these are not in short range, it's 10. So that's one of the uh, negatives of the short bow. So they hit with six, two sixes, so two possible hits uh, against the English. So the, the English will defend with a five and a six, they have a light armor, with a six they have a light armor. But they have also shields, so they can use them, but I cannot use them because I'm shooting back, so I cannot use the shield, obviously. So they defend, uh, so two hits for the English, but um, so it's 10 percent, so the English will get discouraged, but now the English will fight back at the crossbow man with eight dice. Eight, they hit with a four, five, and a six, but being superior, they hit with a three, four, five, and a six. Devastating, and um, many hits, and one reroll. We said ones are rerolled because of English archery rule, so sixes, so that's quite devastating. The, 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 the French have light armor again, so they have to defend with a six. The English give a plus one, they're close range. Yes, they give a plus one to the defense value. So this, um, these shots are, un but we can say they have palaces, they have palaces. So yes, they give a five and a six. So they need sixes only. So no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I give the French palaces because they can shoot behind the palaces. We can, we can assume this, but this is a devastating attack. Two, four, six, seven. So that means that the French will have three, two bases removed. Two bases removed for the French. And let's go to the other shooting we have here. Now the English longbowman will shoot again. Eight, two, three, four, five. The point, the point for the French is to, to reach hand hand combat. So the English attack the men at arms. Four, five, and a six. Because they're superior in the minus one. So three, four, five, and a six. So three possible hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, and another two. So four possible hits. The French defend with a four, five, and a six. They defend two, so two hits, two hits for the French. So the French will get discouraged, but this will be removed in the next round. So now we did the shooting. Let's do the movement and see what's going to happen. Let's roll for initiative. So the big red die is for the English, the, blue, the white for the French. The English win the initiative, 6-4. And let's see what the English will do. Now, this is a very critical for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my friend Leon and Nick suggestion and go to attack the French vanguard. Now, we're in difficult ground, so we have to, to, to move one quarter of our move. So two only, and that's my major issue, the delays. It will take time for this unit of men at arms, but at the same time, I'm not going to move anybody else. But at the same time, I'm going to move, I'm going to move the, the baggage command, the baggage guards. I hope you can see. And we're going to turn them around. So that move is a single, well, let's say it's a single, it's about face. It's half a move, and then we're going to move them four inches, so they're going to move four inches this way, so three inches because they move diagonally. So let's put them somewhere here. So the baggage command is leaving the baggage. And um, I don't have any other moves for the English because the English stay in a defensive position. And let's see what's gonna happen with the French. The French basically are gonna move. They have to continue moving their vanguard lost the base they're moving 
they're close to the opponent, no they're not. So we're gonna move eight here, no four, because I have to change formation again. Let's see if we can manage. Two, three, four, five, now they're five. And we're moving also the second. So the French keep going. Let's see how this strategy will, will go. Four, not change information now. Um, if I move four, so eight, will all the unit be out? And yes, I think all the unit will be out. So that's a good, that's good for the French. That's very good for the French. Now some of these rules I'm making, I mean, logic. So that's good for the French. The French are moving. The French are moving the English. I don't think we're going to have time to attack them. So let's go here. Let's move these French units. Unfortunately, they move two. So that the point for the French is to, to reach hand-to-hand -hand combat. There will be, and the point for the English will be to, um, and the point for will be for the for the English to weaken them as much as they can, in order uh, to fight them. Okay, in order to find to fight them weakened. So let's see here. So the French here reach the banks. But what they're going to do, they have to go diagonally because one, they need three moves to cross the difficult ground. They're not inside the river, yeah? they're in the banks of the river. So let's see. So the French are reaching the banks. What do you think, guys? And um, it's been a commander here. And I'm going to move the mounted knights. I think the mounted knights need to be moved. I'm down there. Let them move, change formation, half move, and then move six. So let's move them here. We change formation and then we continue. So let's see. These are not looking bad for the French. I mean, they're crossing. They're crossing now. now. This is very critical here. Let's go. The French are swarming, are swarming across. So we're going to have another shooting. Let's see if the English can remove a base. Two, four, six, eight. Four, three, four, five, and a six. They have three hits, four hits, but two ones that can reroll due to English archery. Another two hits, so one, two, three, four, five, six hits. The French defend with a four, five, and a six, but they need a five and a six because, as I said, the, crawl, the longbow in close range is devastating. So they defend two, but they're veterans. Veterans now, and they can reroll any single set of dice. So let's roll one. Okay, so they defend again three, so one hit, nothing happens for the French. And uh, on the other side, the English shoot again. So the French were lucky. And let's check what's happening here with eight again dice. Four, five, and a six. Three, four, five, and a six. Now, that's not a good roll for the English. They can reroll only one. They hit, so one, two, three, four, five possible hits for the English. They will need now to defend the French, need to defend with the four, five, and six. The five is so two, so three hits against the French, but they can reroll their veteran also, they can reroll a die. So they, they, they save this, so two hits, two hits, doesn't remove a base, they're already discouraged already, these are a double discouraged, so um, not very effective uh, fire. So we don't have mal melee, but uh, let's roll for initiative and uh, movement. This is very critical initiative critical initiative because whoever gets it gets an advantage so the English get it so what we'll do you see the English didn't manage to charge the French while they are in column 
So let's create a line of battle, two inches only. So we create a line of battle, although they're fighting on difficult ground. And let's put also original Cobham here, attached. So we give a plus two. And also, let's see what we're gonna do with the, with the, with the let's put the, the baggage command here to see how we're gonna work on it and move the baggage also, we're moving. So here are the English, let's see what's gonna happen. I don't have any other movement for the English. Um, so let's go to the French. Now guys, I'm zooming in so you can see the miniature. So now we need half or move to change formation. So the French change information here and the, the remaining are moving are still in column and they have the commander here. So the French are moving and they need another half that they're going to different. They're not going to difficult ground here. They can move four, can, but it's difficult. So two, two inches here. Now the problem is they're gonna, what they're aiming is they're gonna tap, tap the longbowman. Let's see how this is gonna work. The French are looking to attack the longbowman, not the men at arms. Good defensive position. And now let's move the French. Ah, things are getting quite exciting, gentlemen, quite exciting. Now the French have to cross. So let's remove all the um, casualty, all the um, discourage markers. We don't require them now. And let's see the situation. How is the situation now? Now the French here crossed with one base removed and they're gonna attack the longbowman. We have a line of battle here with the support of Georgino Cobham and the other unit of Vanguard is crossing and the captain is here. The, 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 uh, the Council of France. Now uh, the, the reserves are coming to close the gap of support. I don't know how they will do it, but now the French are crossing. So um, we had shooting. Uh, I need to shoot also uh, here a shot. So I think I missed some rounds, but nevertheless, uh, I didn't show them to you. So let's have the, um, there is two moves. One, they are in the river and that's very vulnerable. And the other move will be in the banks of the river. Again, in difficult ground, it's not that easy. So the French are crossing. Now the point is here, these guys have, are in the middle of nowhere with the trees. So they have to go diagonally probably. The cross point here, we have another shooting round in the next phase. And uh, the men at arms are in the banks of the river. This looks quite good. And let's move. Knights. So things are getting exciting. We have another shooting round now. And um, uh, let's see what's going to happen. So these English will shoot at the guys crossing the river. With eight dice, let's see what's happening. So six, six, four, three, four, and three, two. So two, four, six possible hits. Let's see the French defend with a four, five, and a six, but because they're at close range, it's plus one, as I said. So they defend one. So they have four hits, another base is removed and the French are getting weakened and they become discouraged immediately. And that's good because they won't be able to change it if the English charge. So now we're fighting here. Let's see what's happening with the crossbows and the longbows. Again, eight for the English who fight back. They hit four, 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 five, four, three, and they have a one, they can re-roll another three. So five and three, so there's quite a few hits here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. The, Scot the French have to defend with a five and a six. Let's see, it's critical. So they defend sixes and a five, but they get a plus one because the defense value, so it's six. So they have one, two, three, four, five hits. That means they remove three bases, one, one base actually, but the five hits are above, but the five hits are above 25%, so they need to take a cohesion test. The, point, the good thing is that Bertrand, did, I found how we pronounce Bertrand de Gueclin, so it's Bertrand, I found in a French video, this is Bertrand de Gueclin. So Bertrand de Gueclin is very close, so they can use his, he's in command range, so they can use his command value. So they have seven, 
but he has nine. They have six, I think, but he has nine. So they can re-roll and use his cohesion value and maybe save the day. So they roll four and they pass. So very lucky for the crossbowman, they didn't break. Now the crossbowman will fight back with four dice. They hit with a four, five, and a six. Three hits. Three hits for the crossbowman. And the English defend with sixes and three hits. Um, the English defend with sixes. Um, the three hits against the English and the base is removed from the English and that's the first casualty for the English and they get discouraged also. So that's the first casualty for the English. So the crossbowmen are working well. So things are looking good. Now let's have our movement and then we'll go in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So the French here obviously will charge. Let's see now, let's take initiative and see. Three and one, the French get the initiative, so the French are charging. They're discouraged, but they're charging. Now this melee is very complicated, so it will become as a staggered melee. These are discouraged, so that's a positive. Now they, they, this French, how are they gonna go? I think they're gonna go diagonally, so... I don't think they can reach, but... Let's put them here. Let's make a an assumption that they're approximately here. Yeah, okay, so some things you cannot. Bertrand de Gascon will be here supporting. So the French are getting stuck in. So the, the men at arms, these men at arms are now in the river, ready to cross it. Slow, slowly but steadily. They didn't get any, uh, any shooting here, so they're quite strong still. They haven't got any. And the crossbow might also we'll move. That's a mistake I made. So, what do you think, guys? The French are getting there. And now, of course, the French. Will charge, can they charge? They know there's another two, so they get, get shot again. I haven't shot them. So one, two, three. Uh, did I shoot here? Anyway, I don't remember. So two inches. Longbowmen cannot, uh, open order troops like Longbowmen cannot charge frontally many times. So, and here we have also the color moving now. It's there is an issue here. They cannot move more. So if they get pushed back, it's gonna be a problem. And I think also the modern knights will cross through the river. But how? I don't know where I'm gonna put the mounted knights. I'm probably gonna put the mounted knights crossing here. It's difficult, so if they're in difficult ground, but they didn't try and cross the river. So full on attack for the French. Full on attack. Uh, um, it's a bit dark, guys. I don't know if you're enjoying this. It's a bit dark, but it's getting crazy. So what happened now? Let's see the situation now. So here, the French are swarming in. They, there's a, one shooting here to go. In the next round, the French are attacking the crossbowman, the longbowman, and the longbowman there in line of battle with the men at arms, and Reginald Cobham is attached. Very critical defense here, and the rest of the vanguard is swarming in. The mountain knights are coming. They want to cross here. If they cross, again, another issue, and also the crossbowmen who are actually badly hurt from the English. And the two units of men at arms are crossing the river. The English hold this critical hill location, but they will be attacked by this unit of men at arms, another um, very, let's see here, I was talking without showing you, very, very um, critical battle here, very, very critical battle here. They are going to attack here, the English, and the English have to hold this hill. If the swarm from the hill is going to be a problem, although we have here the, 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 uh, the baggage command who uh, can support here in the back. Let's see the baggage command here. We'll see how we're going to take advantage of the baggage command. Now here, we have Mali already, it's getting crazy. Um, Longbowman and man at arms, if this left English right flank falters, there's gonna be a problem. Um, 
I think Salisbury is here to support with his command value and his dice. Now he cannot attach. I need him because we may need to support the other units with his cohesion value. But um, we need to see if the English will hold this line or if the French will swarm from the left flank of the English. Um, here the, the French are crossing, um, mounted are crossing, um, Vanguard is crossing everywhere, the line of battle here is okay, we'll see, but we have also the English uh, reserves. Um, I, don't, I don't want to move the baggage right now for two reasons, because the, the, the rules of my rules are that if the French touch the baggage, they won. So I want the baggage to be as far away from the French as possible without being, you know, uh, if, if we manage to hold this line, I can push the baggage because the baggage will go very slowly here, up to here. But currently, I want it to be in a safe position because you never know what will be the result of this battle. So that's things, guys. I, I started late today and it's getting darker. I don't want to have a dark videos. I promise tomorrow I will do it earlier. My son didn't sleep lunch, so I had him all day. So let's, let's, let's recap and see what's happening. Give me your opinion on strategy. I like your opinions. I really enjoy. So, the French here create a line of battle attacking the English men at arms and longbowmen. Two units of, two bases of the French are removed and the French here are discouraged. Uh, so that's quite interesting battle. Um, now, in, in, so, but that's a very important battle because if it's the right flank of the English and there is no rare support, if the French manage to break or push back the English, it's worrying for the baggage train. Now let's go to, um, to this critical battle again. Uh, the English weakened a lot the crossbowmen. The crossbowmen are very weak in hand-to-hand -hand combat, so they may not attack. The English here are men-at-arms and longbowmen. The longbowmen are discouraged. Uh, but the French are charging already and here two very strong units of French men-at-arms are crossing the river uncontested and the same with the mounted knights. Now the issue here for the English, so these two units are, are, are crossing uncontested and the same with the mounted knights here. So the issue for the English is how they're gonna fare here. The French vanguard managed to cross the river and reform. The English created a line of battle here. There's a difficult ground here, I have to check how it works. Uh, Reginald Cobham is attached to the extra die walls and the reserves are coming to see if there is any gaps. I will keep them in the center, maybe they will be required on the left flank, we'll see. The French are swarming in, the mounted are swarming in, I think uh, things are looking interesting for the French. Their command, their, their, their constable is here to support with his cohesion and um, let's see in the next uh, part, let's see what's going to happen. Um, so I hope you're enjoying up to now. Um, it looks interesting. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry for this. Uh, it's getting dark. I don't want to be dark anymore. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. The next one I think is going to be very exciting. Bye-bye.